you said you do a lot of Comic Cons? Mm -hmm. Not it, a lot, but three or four a year. In connection with Back to the Future? You know, Comic Cons are weird that way. Sometimes I go to like horror ones or I'll go to a shark one. But for the most part, the a shark one. For the most part, people want me to sign Back to the Future stuff or uh, Howard the Duck stuff or some kind of wonderful. Um, but yeah, they're, they're an interesting world. And I've, I've been, you know, it's a much more popular world now than it was when I first started. I know. It used to be there was one in San Diego once a year or something. And now they're they're everywhere. Yeah, and they have Christmas cons. They have uh, cons for people who uh, YouTube cons. They probably have podcast cons. They have get on that, Jim. Yeah, exactly. They have like cons for everything, to be honest. Um, and what always surprises me is that um, people who just do voiceover are have massive lines. People love voiceover cartoon actors and then like i was like at one recently where i didn't have a very good line or you know not and the guy with the line that never ever stopped he did and he he revoiced an an a japanese anime character and i was like he even just revoiced it and he's got a line you know so it's i love cons because they're full of iconoclasts and i i always felt like even though people don't think of me that way i always felt like an iconoclast